Has anybody in this class experienced food poisoning before? Yes, Duba? I've experienced food poisoning. And do you remember what food you ate? Uh, it was undercooked chicken. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. That's probably one of the main ones. Christina? Can't you also get it from eating raw cookie dough? Yes, you can, that is correct. Does anybody know what else may cause food poisoning? Yes, no? Improper hand hygiene. Very good. According to the World Health Organization, globally almost one in 10 people are estimated to fall ill from eating contaminated food. 420,000 people eventually die as a result. Does anybody know why we have so many foodborne outbreaks? Yes, Christina? Um, is it true that foodborne illnesses are like more common in the summertime? So that is a really good question, Christina. Thank you for asking that. And it is true because during the warmer months, of opportunity for food abuse arises due to the fact that, you know, sometimes people will leave their food run refrigerated for longer periods of time, for example, during summer barbecues. Um, and also the fact that we're seeing people eating more produce in different forms, which is good, but when we eat more fresh produce, you're likely to increase your risk. Yes, Chanel? Um, is it fresh produce good for you? Why does it increase health risk? So the risk increases because produce is usually sold without needing to be cooked or canned, which is usually the first step taken to destroy illness-causing germs. Another reason for the increased number of outbreaks is because many people don't actually know that they are at risk of getting foodborne diseases or foodborne illnesses. An example of somebody who would be at risk is um, the elderly or somebody with a suppressed immune system due to cancer treatment, diabetes, or kidney issues. <laughs> what are you going to get? I think I'm going to get a salad. Yeah, this one has bean sprouts in it and I love those. I think I'm going to get that. Yeah, that sounds good. That's good. disgusting today. I know. But why is it so cold in here? Is it like 27 today? Yeah, it's like freezing. Ah, I put that too for question seven. What? Should we go ask her about it? Yeah, I think we should talk to her. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? Um, we just had a, um, uh, we just had a question about, question. oh my god, about, sorry, um, are you two feeling okay? Seven? Not really. Did you want me to write you guys a note to see the nurse's office? Because I noticed all day in class today, you guys weren't looking too good. Um, yeah, okay. that would yeah. be a good idea. Okay, I'll get that note up for you. Okay, thank you. Christina Clark. How are we today? Um, not that great. What brings you in? Well, I've been having like these really bad stomach cramps and I've been vomiting and I've had nausea and I don't know why it's really sudden. When did it start? Like this morning. Okay. Were you feeling like this yesterday? Not really, no. I just kind of woke up with it. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to write down what you ate from yesterday and I'm just going to quickly get some requisitions for some tests. Okay. Um, and here's some medications. Hopefully, within a week, they will relieve your major symptoms. Okay. But I'll have my nurse give you a call for a follow up. Okay. Um, so, what do you think it is? Right now, it's looking like food poisoning, but I can't say anything for sure. Okay. Well, hopefully, this helps. Thank you. Chanel, receive. Hey, how are you today? Hey, I'm actually not feeling so good. So what do you hear what brings you in? Um, I've been having cramps, diarrhea, um, a very bad headache, chills. When did it start? Um, since I woke up this morning. If you don't mind me asking, do you happen to go to Ones IQ? Yeah. Okay, I had a patient with very similar symptoms. So I'm gonna ask you to write down everything you ate yesterday and be very specific, location okay. and brand. Okay, since yesterday morning? Yes, please, I'll be back.
question for you. I have these two patients from Montac U who have the same symptoms, and by looking at their food logs, they both ate bean sprouts. Does that mean anything to you? What do you think? Oh yes, I had four patients already today presenting with salmonella, same symptoms, same bean sprouts, all from Montac U. They're declaring an outbreak with that recall on those bean sprouts. I will email you the article. Oh my gosh, that would make so much sense. Thanks for the update. I'll let my patients know. Hey, so based on what I just read between you and the other patient, um, I believe you have salmonella poisoning. Salmonella? How did I get salmonella? I didn't eat like raw chicken that day. The one thing you and the other patient had in common was bean sprouts, and one of my colleagues just confirmed that sent me a report talking all about salmonella poisoning from bean sprouts. Okay. So all I can really suggest to you right now is lots of rest, drink lots of fluids, and this will help your major symptoms. So the whole thing will take about a week to run its course. Um, if any symptoms get worse, just call us right away or go to the emergency room. Any questions? Uh, no, thank you. Welcome back to Good Morning Oshawa. Before we get into the weather report, we have some breaking news. There's been a salmonella outbreak and Oshawa Produce is recalling all of their bean sprout products that were sold in food markets around Ontario Tech University. Salmonella is one of key four global causes of diarrheal diseases. According to the World Health Organization, the burden of foodborne diseases is substantial. Every year, almost one in 10 people fall ill and 33 million of healthy life years are lost. Your risk of acquiring salmonella infection is higher if you travel to countries with poor sanitation. So to avoid salmonella, wash your hands and surfaces often, separate raw meats from other foods, cook foods to the correct temperature, and put refrigerated foods in the fridge promptly. Remember to contact your doctor if you've consumed these bean sprouts and are experiencing diarrhea, bloody stool, vomiting, and signs of dehydration. That's all for breaking news this hour. Stay tuned for more updates. This has been your morning host, Katie Kurtz. See you tomorrow morning. Bean sprouts.